Hi everyone, this is Vishnu. I'm talking to Simran Kaur. Uh, so Simran, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about Sikhism. First of all, if you can tell my audience, um, what are the main principles of the Sikh religion? There are ma three main principles of the Sikh religion. Uh, one is to earn an honest living. Uh, the second is to remember God at all times. And then the third would be to give back to the community. So sharing our wealth and giving back is actually a very important uh, part of the religion. Okay, can you tell us what is the entity that Sikhs worship and where they worship? Sure, our house of worship is actually called a Gudwara and uh, we have a scripture called the Guru Granth Sahib and the Guru Granth Sahib actually provides us with the guidance and wisdom uh, that we need to live our daily lives. Okay, and ultimately it's uh, God that Sikhs worship or what is the entity that Sikhs are actually worshipping? Yes, uh, Sikhism is a monotheistic religion, so we believe in one God, and we believe that God is a creator of, creator of all people. Um, we don't believe in a living guru, so Sikhism was actually um, founded by uh, ten gurus, um, and then the tenth guru actually gave that wisdom and leadership over to the scriptures, which, like I said, are called the Guru Granth Sahib, and that's what we um, go to for guidance. Okay, so I hear a lot about gurus in the Sikh religion. Mm -hmm. Can you explain uh, the role of gurus mm -hmm. and, and what their purpose is so in the religion? So guru actually yeah. means enlightener or spiritual teacher. And we had 10 gurus beginning with Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Guru Nanak Dev Ji set the foundation of the faith. And he said it at a time in South Asia where discrimination was rampant, inequality was rampant. And he wanted Sikhism to be a faith that actually didn't believe in those things. So it was actually very revolutionary that at that time he created a faith that uh, established equality for all, um, including men and women, um, and that we don't believe in rituals and the caste system. Um, the following nine gurus actually continued that message that Guru Nanak Dev Ji started. And then the final um, guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, basically provided us with the articles of faith and identity that kind of just um, solidified the foundation of our faith. So are, um, in the religion, do you uh, worship the gurus or what is the role of uh, gurus? Are they sort of more guides mm -hmm. and um, uh, people that worship the faith really well or what exactly is the role of gurus? Yeah, it's a really good question. So um, when you kind of describe the word guru, it, kind of, it basically means from darkness to light. So what our gurus are are basically, and it's it's a guide, it's somebody who's going to provide you enlightenment. Um, so the, like I said, the, each of the gurus provided that, and then um, when the final guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, what he said was, we are not going to believe in any more living gurus, but the wisdom is going to be given to the scripture. And so we actually go to the scripture, and the, the Guru Granth Sahib plays a very important role in our lives. Um, you know, any events such as birth, um, during weddings, um, at death, those during those events in our life we go to the Guru for, um, for, for guidance and people read it on a daily basis and, and look for that guidance. So one of the tenets of Sikhism is to uh, wear a turban. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about the turban and the role of the turban in the Sikh faith? Yeah, sure. So the turban is actually an article of faith. It's religiously mandated for Sikhs to wear the turban. Uh, the turban represents um, basically the values of the faith. So it represents sovereignty, it represents um, social justice. The fact that the turban stands out in a crowd um, means that Sikhs will stand up for um, for ourselves and for other individuals and that social justice um, element is actually very important to the Sikh faith. Now many other cultures and communities around the world um, may also wear turbans. Oftentimes for them it's cultural. Um, like I said for Sikhs it's religiously mandated. Um, most of the individuals you'll see in the US wearing turbans are actually from the Sikh faith. I would say 99% of those individuals. And it's also important to remember that um, Sikh women, some Sikh women also choose to wear the turban. Okay, thanks so much for talking to me today. Thanks for having me. Okay, great.